Let's say you're given a task to evaluate the given polynomial when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to negative 1. So the given polynomial is 5x to the 4th plus 8xy minus 6y squared plus 2. What does it actually mean to evaluate? To evaluate means to find the value of the entire polynomial when x is equal to 2 and y is equal to 1. So simply put, we are going to substitute 2 for x and negative 1 for y and simplify this entire expression and find out what's the actual value. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll have 5 and then we'll replace x with 2 and then we'll copy the exponent plus 8 we'll replace x again with 2 and we will substitute negative 1 for y. So we'll have 8 times 2 times negative 1 because 8xy means 8 times x times y. And 5x to the 4th means 5 times 2 to the 4th. In the same manner, 6y squared means 6 times y squared. In this case, negative 1 squared since y is negative 1 plus 2. And then we just have to remember that we have to simplify the one with the exponent before multiplying that with any other numbers around it. So before we multiply by 5, we have to uh, find out what is 2 raised to 4. Well, 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16. So we'll have 5 times 16. Here, we can just simply multiply these three numbers. 8 times 2 is 16 times negative 1. So that's going to be positive 16 times negative 1. That will be negative 16. And here, before we multiply by 6, we have to simplify negative 1 to the second power first. Well, negative 1 squared is positive 1, so we'll have 6 times 1 plus 2. We don't need to do anything here, we just need to copy that. And then 5 times 16 is 80 plus negative 16. 6 times 1 is 6. So I will put minus 6 plus 2. Here you can also look at it as negative 6 times 1. So it will be negative 6. And then we can combine all of these. Now there are different ways to do this. You can do 80 plus 2. Combine those ones with the same signs first. And then negative 16 plus negative 6. Or you can do 80 plus negative 16, applying the rules in adding integers. And then minus 6, okay, and whatever answer you get, plus 2. Okay, whatever method you use, the result should be equal to 60. So this is the final answer. So when you evaluate this expression, the answer will be positive 60. Thank you very much for watching.